Look, they're gonna join up for something, man. Look. You are kind of like scared at first. I'm not scared, but amazed that we see something like that. A video of mysterious lights captured over northern Manitoba has got the attention of the wider UFO community. We speak to the man who shot the video and to an expert about what could be behind the strange lights in the sky. Hey, you Captured in Manitoba's north, in between Lynn Lake and the Fox Mine at around midnight Monday, the video shows several orbs in the night sky, caught on camera by Dwight Beardy, who is out celebrating his birthday. The experience has left him perplexed. I don't think they were planes. I don't think people are saying that, that they're like Chinese lanterns. Like, who's going to light up Chinese lanterns in the middle of nowhere? The video was posted to the website Reddit's UFOs community, which boasts more than one million members, sparking a discussion hundreds of comments deep. For Beardy, he's confident what he saw this week was just out of this world. I knew they were UFOs, for sure. They gotta be. The video showing the alleged unidentified flying objects, now called Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP, goes on for more than two minutes and shows several lights, two particularly bright, moving through the sky. Beardy saying it was a thrill to finally capture something like this on camera. Uh, many people are seeing unusual objects in the sky, and Mr. Beardy is one of the lucky ones. Chris Rutowski is one of Canada's leading UFOologists, maintaining a database of UFO sightings across the country. He stresses the video captured over Lynn Lake does resemble paper or Chinese lanterns, but admits the location of the video, more than 1,000 kilometers north of Winnipeg, is interesting. It does suggest that you know we, we probably could take a closer look at it, uh, take it a little more seriously, because there wouldn't be as many people up there uh, in uh, you know areas where there's a lot of population, there'd be a lot lot of explanations why UFOs would be flying around or uh, things that could be misidentified. But there isn't a lot that could be misidentified up there. Rakowski says he checked with the Lynn Lake Airport and confirmed there were no aircraft in the area at the time the video was shot, with Transport Canada telling City News the government body would need more time before it responded. And while the longtime UFOologist and science writer says the video is far from conclusive, it's important it's logged and categorized, especially as larger conversations about the outer world possibilities continue. It's a matter of trying to get good data, and if people don't report what they see, we won't necessarily get the good data, and videos are certainly, you know, more than just anecdotes. And with Burkowski pointing out one in ten Canadians believe they've seen a UFO, he stresses those who have seen something strange in the night sky are not alone. In Winnipeg, Morgan Majeski, City News.